Hey there, and welcome to Elevate Your Thinking. Have you ever felt like you're not good enough? Like you don't have what it takes to succeed? If so, you're not alone. Many of us struggle with low confidence and poor self-esteem at some point in our lives. But the good news is that confidence and self-esteem are skills that can be learned and developed. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to build confidence and improve self-esteem. These are essential for personal growth and success, and I'm excited to share some tips and techniques with you that can help you boost your confidence and feel better about yourself. Whether you're looking to excel in your career, improve your relationships, or simply feel more confident in your own skin, this video is for you. So, if you're ready to take control of your confidence and self-esteem, let's get started. Number 1. What is confidence and self-esteem? Confidence and self-esteem are two closely related concepts, but they are not the same thing. Confidence is the feeling of self-assurance and belief in one's abilities. It's about trusting in your own skills and abilities to tackle challenges and achieve your goals. When you have confidence, you feel capable and capable of handling whatever comes your way. Self-esteem, on the other hand, is the overall evaluation we have of ourselves. It's how we view ourselves as individuals and how we feel about our worth. When we have high self-esteem, we feel good about ourselves and believe that we are deserving of love, respect, and success. When we have low self-esteem, we tend to see ourselves in a negative light and may struggle to believe in our own worth. It's important to note that confidence and self-esteem are not fixed traits. They can fluctuate and change over time, depending on our experiences and the way we think about ourselves. This means that it is possible to build your confidence and improve your self-esteem, no matter where you're starting from. Number 2. Factors that affect confidence and self-esteem. There are many factors that can impact our confidence and self-esteem. Some of these are internal such as our thoughts, beliefs, and emotions. Others are external, like the way we are treated by others or the expectations placed upon us. Internal factors that can affect our confidence and self-esteem include Negative self-talk, this is when we speak to ourselves in a negative or self-defeating way. For example, we might say things like I'm not good enough or I'll never be able to do that. Negative self-talk can erode our confidence and self-esteem over time. Lack of self-belief, when we don't believe in ourselves and our abilities, it can be difficult to feel confident and good about ourselves. Past failures or setbacks, if we have experienced failures or setbacks in the past, it can be challenging to shake off the negative feelings and regain our confidence. Perfectionism, striving for perfection can be a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it can motivate us to do our best. On the other hand, it can set us up for disappointment and make us feel like we're never good enough. External factors that can affect our confidence and self-esteem include Comparison Comparing ourselves to others can be a major confidence killer. Seeing others who seem more successful or attractive can make us feel like we're not measuring up. Societal expectations The expectations placed upon us by society can be a major source of pressure. Whether it's the pressure to look a certain way, achieve certain things, these expectations can weigh heavy on our self-esteem. Poor treatment by others When we are treated poorly by others, whether it's through bullying, discrimination, or simply being ignored, it can take a toll on our self-esteem. By understanding what affects our confidence and self-esteem, we can take steps to address any issues and build ourselves up. Number 3. Techniques for building confidence and improving self-esteem. Building confidence and improving self-esteem takes time and effort, but it is definitely possible. There are a variety of techniques that you can try to boost your confidence and feel better about yourself. Here are a few. Technique number 1. Set goals and work towards them. One of the most effective ways to build confidence is to set specific, achievable goals and work towards them. By setting goals and achieving them, we can build our self-confidence and feel better about ourselves. When setting goals, it's important to be realistic and to break them down into smaller steps. This can make the process feel more manageable and help us to see our progress along the way. Technique number two. Practice positive affirmations. Another technique that can be helpful is practicing positive affirmations. This involves repeating positive phrases to ourselves, such as I am worthy or I am capable. These affirmations can help to rewire our brains and shift our mindset to one of positivity and self-belief. Technique number three. Engage in self-care. Self-care is crucial for building confidence and improving self-esteem. This includes taking care of our physical and mental health, as well as setting boundaries and prioritizing our own needs. When we engage in self-care, we feel more grounded and capable, which in turn can boost our confidence. Technique number four. Seek support. Finally, seeking support from friends and loved ones can be incredibly helpful. Having a supportive network of people who believe in us and encourage us can make a big difference in how we view ourselves. 
Whether it's talking to a friend, seeking advice from a mentor, or seeking help from a professional, getting support can be a powerful way to boost our confidence and self-esteem. Remember that building confidence and improving self-esteem is a process, and it's okay to take things at your own pace. Don't be too hard on yourself and be open to trying new techniques and approaches. With time and effort, you can build your confidence and feel better about yourself. Number 4. Overcoming Challenges Building confidence and improving self-esteem is not always easy, and there will be challenges and setbacks along the way. It's important to remember that it's okay to make mistakes and that everyone goes through rough patches. If you're struggling and finding it difficult to build your confidence and improve your self-esteem, there are a few things you can try. Tip number one. Seek professional help. If you're feeling overwhelmed or like you're in over your head, it might be helpful to seek professional help. This could be in the form of therapy, coaching, or another form of support. A trained professional can help you to identify any underlying issues and provide you with strategies for addressing them. Tip number two. Find role models. Another technique that can be helpful is finding role models who inspire you and embody the confidence and self-esteem that you aspire to. Seeing someone else succeed and thrive can give us the motivation and courage to do the same. Tip number three. Persevere. Finally, remember that building confidence and improving self-esteem takes time and effort. It's not always a smooth ride, but with persistence and determination, you can make progress. Don't give up and keep working towards your goals. Every small step you take will bring you closer to where you want to be. Remember that you are not alone in facing these challenges, and that there are resources and support available to help you. In conclusion, building confidence and improving self-esteem are essential for personal growth and success. By setting goals, practicing positive affirmations, engaging in self-care, and seeking support, we can boost our confidence and feel better about ourselves. Remember that building confidence and improving self-esteem is a journey, and it takes time and effort. Don't be too hard on yourself and be open to trying new techniques and approaches. With time and persistence, you can build your confidence and feel more positive about yourself. So, take control of your confidence and self-esteem today. Remember that you are worthy, you are capable, and you have the power to achieve your goals. Thank you for watching. If you have any other tips or strategies that have helped you overcome procrastination, be sure to share them in the comments below. Until next time, happy productivity.